Hi friends, welcome. This is Ron from Ask Me for a Balloon. Fooling around with the balloons today and I came up with the, maybe a lizard man. Thought maybe I'd share it with you and show you how I made it. For the lizard man you're going to need one for the head. I'm choosing 260 dark green. I'm going to blow it up. Just over halfway, say about six, maybe seven fingers. Give it a nice stretch. We're going to start off with two pinch twists. One finger pinch twist is one. And two. Then we're going to go with four fingers. Another four fingers. We're going to bring it back and twist them in together. Then we're going to go with five fingers. And we're going to push, twist this inside. This side got a huh, nice twist in it. Give it another little twist. And twist it in. There we go. And we're going to bring it back the same size. Just like that. I'm going to squeeze the air out and bring it to the end. And I'm going to pull it through. Just like that. We have it like this. And we're going to make two pinch twists. Uh, one finger pinch twist. Yeah. This little stub will be his neck. So there's his head so far. We're going to add his eyes and the scales. Uh, I've chosen to make his eyes light green, a lime green, at 260. Roll it up just over halfway, give it a nice stretch. I say about eight fingers a night. Take the head, tie the pinch twist to the first two, or the nozzle sorry for the first two pinch twists. And I bring it up, we're gonna make a spacer bubble. So a one finger spacer bubble. I'm gonna make a flower petal, say a one finger flower petal. A half a finger spacer bubble. We're going to do this about five times. Try to make the flower petals about the same size. Maybe let's see how far it is. One more. Let's do it. We want to twist it into the back pinch twist. Pull it through. It's okay if it comes out, you just twist it back in. Align it so it's, so it's proper. And it's got a mohawk. Now you want to bring the lime green back. Fit it in between the two, the two balloons there. Squeeze it to make it air so it's soft. Twist it into the pinch twist. Be careful you don't break these pinch twists because they're vital. And then you want to bring it back. Just like that. And twist it into the pinch twist. We don't need this, we're going to break it off. And tuck it in. So there's his head. Out and we're fine. We're going to go on to his body, 260 dark green. I've blown it up about maybe six fingers of tail, seven fingers. You give it a nice stretch. Start with his feet. We're going to make a three finger bubble. Another three finger bubble. We're going to bring it back and tie them together. And we're going to simply make a one finger pinch twist. Now we're going to give this guy some muscle, so we're going to make about a three finger bubble and a one finger pinch twist. Then another three finger bubble, another three finger bubble, and we're going to bring them back in together, twist them in. And then we're going to make a two finger bubble, but make it nice and soft. And we're going to roll it through, just like that. 
Just like that. There's one of the legs. Now we're going to make a one finger pinch twist. Just like that. Squeeze it a bit. Make it soft. Take another 260. Dark green. Pull it up. And six fingers and tail. Put a two finger bubble. Just sitting together, push the nozzle through the middle. I got one finger pinch twist. And we went two finger or three fingers. And uh, one finger pinch twist. And we went three fingers. And another three fingers. Twist them in together. And then about a two and a half finger, two finger, you can saw, roll it through, just like that. And then finish it off with a one finger pinch twist. So we have two legs. We're going to take two pinch twists and we're going to twist them in together. Very carefully. The leg to break. There we go. Spin it out a bit. We're going to take this, about three fingers each. Just come in together, and we're going to make two pinch twists. Just get in, make sure nice and tight. Break off your access. Onto the arms. Okay, for the arms, another 260 green. Might need one in a piece of scrap for the, uh, the arms. So with the arms, I'm going to make a one finger bubble, another one finger bubble. We're going to bring it back together. Then we're just going to make a half a finger flower petal. Just come in. So it looks like that. Then we're going to make a three finger bubble. A uh, one finger pinch twist. Then a three finger bubble and another three finger bubble. And a two finger level. I'm going to roll it through. It looks like this. And it appears he has muscles. We're going to take this and add it to the top two pinch twists. Twist it in nice and tight. Bring it out to the other side. And we're going to do another three finger bubble. And another three finger bubble. And I'm running out of room, so I'm going to have to like, use a piece of strap. So I'm just going to break it off here and I'll, I'll add the scrap to the two pinch twists. And I'm going to see how this piece of scrap handy. I'll have to use a full one. So I'm using a full one, but you can use a scrap. You don't need very much of it. What you want to do is tie it into the pinch twist. Nice and tight. Make a three finger bubble or a two and a half finger bubble. And roll through the two three finger bubbles. Like that. Then you make a one finger pinch twist. And another two and a half, three finger bubble. A one finger bubble. A one finger bubble. Pull them in together. And then a half finger bar pedal. Just to make sure it's nice and tight. It's not going to come out. There we have his body. There we go. He's 
gut muscles. Okay, so for this head, I'm going to take the nut, simply just twist it into the piece this. Put it on both arms. Let it all stay nice and secure. Get it out a bit. There we go. So what we're going to do is add the spice to the back, and for that I've just chosen a 160 green. Those are a little cold. Give it a nice stretch. I've blown it up about maybe six fingers, seven fingers of tail. We're going to add it to the pinch twist between the shoulder blades. We're going to start with a smooth finger flower petal. Twist it in nice, nice, so it doesn't come apart. Give it a half finger spacer bubble. We're going to do the same thing as we did at the top there. Another spacer bubble. Another two finger pedal, flower pedal. Another spacer bubble. Another two finger flower pedal. And we want to measure it to see how far down you need. How you need. Uh, of course, you get this one. You might need five, depending on how big you've made this, this torso of the body. Bring it through. Straighten it all out. When you keep it all together, you just want to bring it up and twist it back into the neck. And there we have it, our lizard man. This must be straightened out a little bit. And we're good to go. These eyes, so we do the artwork. And there we have it, our lizard man. Here's his friend. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. See you soon.